Well, this really is turning out to be Badger Week. Um, I think we've had as three cubs in as many days, and we're just off to another one. Um, a woman was walking a dog and found a very disorientated Badger cub, so she's going to meet us on site. We've got to go over one field, um, over a stile. I'm getting a bit old for all of this. <laughs> well, I've joined up with Sue, who's going to show us where the Badger cub is, and we're now traipsing across fields and over styes to see if we can still find it. I can see it already. Yeah. On it, in it and all over it. It's probably come out from the set and got disorientated. All right, little one. Hey, how are you doing, hey? What are you doing out? You've got the huff up. Have you got the huff up? Have you? Have you? Oh, you're very vicious. Well, turn around a bit so I can get to your neck. So, don't be so bad tempered. No! Right, we're going to pick you up in a towel because you're getting vicious. All right, there we are. Look. Now, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> it's nice and wild. It's very nice and wild with very big fleas. Right, let's just feel if you're dehydrated. Yeah, it's a bit dehydrated. Let's get you in the box, keep you cosy for a minute, and then that'll give us an opportunity to see if we can find your home. There's some scraping and digging going on here, which could either be squirrels, badgers or rabbits, but there's no sign of anything yet. Well, this looks much more badger territory. There's a whole load of spoil come out of a hole, and it's big spoil, and it's quite full of stones. I suspect to see a, a badger entrance up here. And I do see a badger entrance up here. Well, there will certainly be more entrances. This spoil, although it's reasonably fresh, it isn't that fresh. So there should be, I'm hoping to find another entrance where the spoil's a bit more fresh. Yeah, we've got lots of badger marks around here. Can't see any latrines at the moment, but they dig little hollows and do their, their poos in the latrines outside the set. They're very clean animals, badgers. Well, we've got the badger, it's very dehydrated, so I want to get it back and check it out, importantly, but we've seen the sets active. So I'll now ring the badger group, get them to come and monitor it, and we could try to put it back. It's hard to know which entrance it's in, but it's not a big set, so it might be possible to get it back out to the wild again, which is what it would be the best thing for it. Well, it seems to be badger week, people. Um, I'm hoping we can get this one back out. It's nice and wild. It was only about 60 metres from a set, but I just want to check him out because he felt quite dehydrated to me, but he's quite bitey, or she's quite bitey. He's obviously quite thirsty. He's been out a while, I think. Yes, it's His eyes look scared, a isn't bit it? sunk. They do. He's taken the lecto quite well. We're now going to try him with a bit of gloop, and then just for now, while the Surrey Badger Group go and check out the area, um, we'll put him in with ours because he might well eat from the bowls and put on a bit of weight. Badgers are very clean animals. They are until you put their food into bowls and then they sort of tend to walk in it, stamp it, they just don't know what it is. They've never seen this sort of food before, so they just treat it as part of the vegetation and it makes a terrible mess of their cage quite frequently. Shortly after dark, there was action in the garden. Mum came back and took one cub at a time. 